It's done. That's like the third or fifth time it's done that. Six. Okay, I don't. I don't. Oh, wasn't counting. Maybe. Object in his rectal cavity. Oh, Maybe you'll get an American speaking. Well, I'll be back on that time I get. Then I'll be back off again. Then I'll. <sighs> I'm just gonna go home. I can watch. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're watching squat. <laughs> Hate to tell you. This don't pick back up. I was like, y'all are missing the season, Tuesday season premiere, wait. Oh, yeah. New Orleans, New Orleans. Now, there's Bull in New Orleans, and there's also the Dancing with the Stars that we're missing, and <coughs> This Is Us, yeah. and the Menendez murders. Would it be because we try to record two things at the same time? I don't know. I think it'd be able to handle that. I don't, I don't think no. it would be. We've done it before, but... Yeah, but one down here, one, oh... They went upstairs. They can actually cord it down here. Come on, Hal. You're me off. I mean, I can, <clears throat> I can catch up with everything on my Roku, but y'all's internet is way too slow for that. It, up. it ain't enough. It's nowhere near enough. Hey, for phones and computer, it's fine, but if you're going to watch anything, even online, it ain't enough. What'd you speed it up to? From what to what? I don't This is just ridiculous. What channel is on? This this one is right after this. I just And there it goes again. Damn yep. There could have been a whole entire helicopter rescue in there and we didn't see a bit of it. Mm -hmm. yep. No idea. No I'm not betting anything on it having actually recorded what we set up either, so. Oh. Getting tired of that kangaroo. What about if we try to watch This Is Us and record? It ain't gonna let you do that. As soon as I try to check it, it goes black again. I try to check to see if it was still recording, and pfft, remember? It went out. The best I can do is go home, go to my house and grab that antenna. You can at least watch 12. You can try it. What am I for? Kids not in the way or anything. Trying to get keys and stereo boxes and set that down.
find my key with one hand here. There it is. Okay, pocketbook. Hmm. Trudy, you got to move. You can't in my way. Come on. Come on. Seriously. This looks so blurry. I like to move. Okay, um, okay. Okay. Okay, which way you go? Just move. Scooch out of the way. Which way are you going here? This way? This way. Hmm. There you go. Ooh, one more. Feet out of shot here. There you go. Where'd you go? There it is. A little more. Go on. Get back in frame. A little more. Scoot, scoot, scoot. There we go. Okay. Turn raise. Start recording and it gets dark again. I love this phone, really, I do. So it's 11.36 on Tuesday, September 26th, and my toad is still out there, as you saw earlier. I don't know what I'm going to show with that film. It's like right in front of my door. Let's see if we can see the toad. It's really bad lighting. Can I show it this way? Can you? There he is. Right there. He, she, it. Right there. I don't know what it, I don't know how you tell what a toad is. It's just a toad. And I guess my dog is still at the neighbor's. I don't know because I hadn't walked up there to check lately. I hadn't seen my dog lately. I guess she's feeding him. Should walk up there and give her some dog food. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, let's get to where there's light and I can actually see. Oh, here, have some darkness. There you go. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, let's get you over here. Okay, so, like, I keep wanting to walk up there to see if he's up there, but with my sleep schedule, cycle, schedule, whatever, by the time I'm, like, had coffee, have woken up, got in my shower, got dressed, look decent... It's about time to go to dinner, and I ain't got time to walk up there. And then, after dinner and everything, it's dark. So, I'm like, when, when do I when do I go up there? It's like, now, like it's 11.36 at night. Like, I'm awake. I'm like, let's, like, I could go somewhere and be fine. But, apparently, the world wants to sleep right now. And here in Podunkville, the only thing open is Walmart. And I don't need anything from Walmart. Yay. Um... And 11.36 at night, or 37 at night, whatever time it is right now, little late to be go wa to be go walking up the dirt road to the neighbor's house and they're not expecting you. Yeah, little creepy. Let's not do that. So, just sit and wait for my dog to come back. Yay. And I know the obvious answer is, well, why don't you just get your dog fixed? One, um, don't have that kind of money right now. Two, Yes, I could afford it. It, it during the clinics. I don't know if, like, there's like a financial something something that has that's involved. I don't know if I qualify for that or how that even works. So maybe with the financial doohickey, the um, local animal shelter, humane society, whatever it is, has I could do it that way. So there's a possibility that if, like, I don't know, maybe that one that'd be great. I'd be totally willing to do that. Um, but the main thing is, can't catch them. Can't, can't, like, you cannot put a, a leash on him. It took me all day to get a, it took me all day to get a collar on this fool. I got a leash on him once. Nearly jerked my damn arm off, took off running, did not see him for several hours. Like, apparently, 
he went over to my cousin's house, and they were chasing him around their yard for hours, trying to get the leash off or catch him. Did not happen. Came back to my grandparents' house later that night, like eight hours later, and when he finally calmed down, I managed to clip the leash off of him, and that leash didn't happen again. So, can't catch him. And if anyone knows how to catch a really skittish dog, please let me know. I'm all ears. I'm, I, I'm willing to get my dog fixed. Just, I, I will go into debt for a little while to pay for it. You know, even though I don't have the money, I'll, you know, credit cards, fine, whatever, I'll deal with it. But I can't catch him. Like, he ain't gonna get in my car. Like, I can't pick him up. Like, 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 when he, like, I can give him belly rubs when he wants belly rubs. Like, I'll just, I've been trying to slowly, like, reach my arm under him. Like, while he's laying down to, like, get him used to having arms around him, you know, just in case, so I can pick him up one day. But you get your arms halfway around him, he, like, jerks up and he, like, takes off running. So, literally cannot get him to the vet. Like, I, I can't pick him up at all. Can't even pet him. I, I pet, wait, correction, I did pet him on the head once since February. He let me pet him once, and then he, then it never again. So, yeah, I, I don't know enough about dog behavior, figure out what to do, so, yay. And the lady, like I said before, I think I said before I talked to her, she can't afford to get her dog fixed either, which I totally understand, because that is expensive AF, so, yeah. It's so dark, like, I can see fine, but it's, like, so dark on my phone, it's awesome. So, yeah, um... She knows where I where I'm at. She knows who that's physically a neighborhood dog. Like I like I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how long dogs are in heat. I think like every dog we've had before, we've had fixed or have had the opportunity to get opportunity to get fixed. And yeah, so like I don't, I don't know what to do. Like he's an okay dog, but and like. I'm gonna fly out say I would like I do want a dog, but not for me, not for here, but for like the family and for like um my grandparents and their yard and to like keep things away from the ducks basically. But Gizmo is not that dog. I mean he'll make like Gizmo I think it needs a needs a family with a fenced in yard and maybe one other dog and no kids. That'd be great. But our, our yard, when I say army, like my, like, I don't own this land. I can't fence diddly. My grandparents' house, their yard is too big to, to, to fence and it'd be too expensive. So that's not an option. And, yeah, again, we can't catch him to have him fixed, so. Yay. Um, he's, like, again, the neighborhood dog, basically. Like, I don't really want to claim him, but, like, I'm the only one who can apparently pet him at all, and I've gotten a collar on him, so there's, there's that, like, I'm trying to get him uh, used to people enough, I can't say trained, because uh, clearly I'm not trained in diddly squat, um, like, my cousin wants Gizmo, and he is welcome to him, but Gizmo is usually in our area, house, not house, but like, yard, m me and my grandparents, except for right now, because he's not fixed, and neither is the sort of neighbor lady dog, neighbor's, neighbor lady's dog. There we go. I worded that weird. So, yay. I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. And I try to look up, like, I try looking up ways to, like, to get my dog to come, like, how do I make my intact male dog come home? How do I, you know, it's what to do, and it's all, it's all things about what to do when you're, no, your unfixed male and female dogs live together. How to keep male dogs away from your female dog? Like, I have the opposite problem, and no, I cannot. And so it's like, you know, you should get them fixed. No shit, Sherlock. Or keep them in the crate or inside. This, that, that dog will not get nose close. Bleh, 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 hmm, words. Yeah. That dog will not get close enough to me to come in the house. That dog does not go in the house. He's not going to get in a crate. Like, I've gotten him into the dog lot a few times and I've managed to shut the door on occasion before he runs out and he just digs his way digs up under the fence so I don't know I'm trying I'm doing the best I can so there you go like 
I'm, I'm just doing what I can while recognizing this dog needs a different home and I can't do anything about it because technically it's not anybody's dog. I don't, I don't know. So that's all I've got for now. And so I've got a toad. Most well-behaved pet I've ever had. Yay, except for sitting in front of the door. Tied between the toad and the, fi the fish I've had. So right now my fish weren't well-behaved. My one fish ate another fish, so that didn't quite work out. Anywho, you'll see me tomorrow. Maybe something a bit more interesting than talking about dogs and toads. Yay. Okay, bye.